Welcome back, agents. Secret Agent Stash here. We are at GIA Headquarters, the Gaming Intelligence Agency. This is what we do. This is what we do. We get on here. We play the best in Web 3 and Web 2 sometimes. Showing you guys all about these games. Having fun together with the community. Hanging out, talking, interacting. You know, I'm not just one of those guys who just jumps on and, like, is just playing. You know, I, I know you guys, you, you watch those dudes. They're just on there. They don't ever talk to the chat. They're, they're not acknowledging anybody there. They don't know what's going on. I'm here for you guys. I'm here to hang out with you guys. So we're doing a Friday Night Dead Drop, like we be doing here every Friday. Now, you know, Dead Drop has increased in popularity here over the last, you know, two months or so, month or so, and for great reasons. But I've been talking about Dead Drop since the beginning. I knew it was going to be hot. So if you had been watching my channel then, you would have got in. You could have got in earlier. You could have got in earlier, right? So, um, so yeah, so we're going to go in to Dead Drop today. And we're going to talk a little bit about... Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the be like some of the beginner stuff to start off, right? Because what, what I've noticed is there's a lot of people who uh, you know, want to get in on Dead Drop. Maybe they got a tower key. They're excited. They, they, they've seen a lot of hype, right? They've seen a lot of hype. But they don't really know what the hell's going on. There's no user manual. There's nothing that really tells you much about the game in general, like how to play. Just how to play the damn game, right? So, um, pardon me there. So, what we're going to do is we're going to talk a little bit about the basics of Dead Drop here to get started. And we're going to jump in. I'm going to show you some of these basics. But we're going to talk about a little bit of the basics first. 
to get started, and then we'll we'll uh, show you some of those examples. John Legend, you got the tower key, but can't play yet. Why why can't you play yet? Oh, why can't you play yet? But good to see you in chat. Uh, uh, John Legend coming back to the agents program. It's good to see John Legend back in the agents program. Uh, we also got Agent Jaxie in chat as well, and it looks like we got a new agent in chat too. Agent Meninja. Agent Meninja, welcome to uh, welcome to the crew. Welcome to the GIA. Uh, I don't know when you joined, but uh, I'm glad to have you here. Glad to have you here. Um, so <laughs> Global Nobles, that song is badass. Uh, my my intro song is pretty badass. I'm not you know I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty it's pretty fire. It's pretty fire. I don't know if anybody has anything out there just like that. Yeah, Ninja. Meninja, it, it, it's, it's like ninja, 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 ninja. Is that it? Did I get it? The perfect? Hell yeah, it was. First try. All right, you know what? I, I almost started the stream early because I had poured this beer about 10 minutes before the stream started. And I was like, I can't stop. I can't start drinking before the stream. Stash, don't do it. That's good. God, what is this magical nectar? Well, it's Friday, man, and uh, you know, can can we can we drink and dead drop? I think so. Yeah, are we are we gonna be good at it? Probably not. <laughs> All right. Well, now that we got that out of the way. We're going to be drinking, we're going to hang out, we're going to talk about Dead Drop. Okay, first things first, before we actually jump into the game, I'm just going to give you guys a quick breakdown and primer of what Dead Drop is, where it's at right now, and then we'll talk about the basics of playing the game as we jump in. All right, so first things first, I'll be drinking later. Yeah, well, I'm drinking now. You guys can drink now if you want. We can, we're, we're Officially, we have started the weekend. It is okay. Tell the wife, tell the GF, tell, the, tell mom, tell mom that Stash said it's okay to start drinking. It is, it is now the weekend. If, if anybody gives you shit, tell them Stash said it was okay and to come see me. I'll straighten them out. Do I have a tap? I wish. I wish I had a tap. I wish I had a kegerator. I like variety. Uh, this is actually a Voodoo Ranger I'm drinking right now. A Voodoo Ranger uh, Imperial Hazy IPA. Smoke them if you got them, then. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> I mean, that's what I'm saying. It's Friday night, man. You know, we're having fun. Uh, you know, we can play video games, have fun. You, you know, it, it doesn't have to be all super strict, like, I'm going to win. I'm going to get the dead drop. Like, all right, I want to win. <laughs> let's, not, let's, not, let's not mix it up. All right. We, we go for the W always. But I like to have a good time. And on Friday nights, we do this. We do this. Okay, so dead drop, here's where we're at. I, I, keep, I keep getting sidetracked with this delicious beer, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, Dead Drop and where we're at right now is the game has been in development for about a year. It started off with a website where you could go and get a, just a, a little founder's badge. It was a little, it was called a Day Zero badge. From those Day Zero badges, they allowed people to then, uh, you know, submit applications to get a founder's pass. There was only 10,000 of these minted. These are actual NFTs, and they, and they uh, you know, g gave access to these people for these NFTs, right, uh, from the people who got the passes. And those NFTs are what most people have been using to play the game because it gives you access to the game. Now, for the first four snapshots, which were basically the first year, that were the only people that could play this game is if you had one of those NFTs, you could play. And we went through a couple of iterations until we got the snapshot five where we are now, which actually has like textures and colors and things like that before it was very vanilla. Now the idea behind dead drop is that it is an extraction shooter. So if you're not super familiar with the extraction genre, maybe you know, escape from Tarkov probably, I would say that's probably the most well-known extraction game. What do you guys think in chat? That's actually a great question. What do you guys think is the most well-known extraction shooter out there? 
I, I would say probably that most people know Escape from Tarkov. There are others out there, but I would say that that probably, I would say that that, that probably um, is the most well known. So, so you know, you think of kind of like a, 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 a Tarkov, you know, and maybe like maybe like DMZ. If you guys have been playing the DMZ mode in Warzone Two that everyone hates, apparently that everyone hates it. I get it, uh, but maybe you played that too. So very much uh, like it, it, these other extraction shoes you see, but there's a slight twist, and this is what you need to make a great game. The slight twist on Dead Drop is that it's a vertical extraction shooter, and this is a new term that they've kind of coined here. And what this kind of means is instead of like moving from one location here to another location way over here on a map, right? This big sprawling map, you got to go from one side of her dance to the other side, or the gas is closing in on this side, you know. Uh, they, they have chosen to make a vertical space. So instead of going out, you go up. You go up in this game, right? Vertical extraction. So the idea is you load in and you're going to get as much loot as you can and then get the hell out. That's that. Now, and that's that's essentially the, 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 the goal of Dead Drop, right? Get in, loot, extract. Now, there are, are a lot of variances and nuances when it comes to things like that, right? Because, you, A, you're going to start off the game with almost nothing. You have nothing. You have a, couple, a pea shooter to start off with. Uh, and that is going to get you going. But then what you want to do is, you know, start building up your stash of weapons and things so you can have, a, you know, better equipment when you go in. This is very similar to, like, DMZ. So, and same with card drop. You go in. If you die in dead drop, you, you drop all of your stuff in a bag. Boom, it's gone. Whatever you had with you. And you took into that session, that's it. Not getting it back, unless you go find it. So the idea here with Dead Drop is you go in, you're looting a bunch of stuff. Maybe you find some rare things like some comics or a floppy disk. Or some other cool things, right? That are kind of like little collectibles. Now, since we're in closed access right now and, and, and pre-alpha essentially, or alpha state. Oh yeah, hand grips. Yes, they got hand grips. Got to keep up that hand strength. Uh, so yeah, we have we have a bunch of little cool collectibles we can find, uh, but also getting all the weapons and things like that too. Uh, obviously now you know in, in contrast to just extracting, like getting out right. There's and we're talking about how to do that. You can also be the last man standing, right? So if you're the last person and you kill the last person, you're the last person standing, then you get the dead drop, and the dead drop is you know some of the fallen gear. You get to pick one item from the fallen gear of everybody else that died during that match that wasn't picked up or and extracted by another player. So that is the basic game loot there. Um, and there are a couple of ways of going about this. We're going to show you. There, there's uh, multiple ways to extract. And there's a couple of things that are going against you. Uh, a, you have the freeze. So the freeze is something that is part of this vertical movement, right? So at a certain time in the map, you'll hear, you'll hear some sounds. Uh, the bottom of the map starts to freeze up. And if you are in this freeze, similar to like in gas, right? Like in Warzone or something, uh, it starts to hurt you. But this freeze does not play around, guys. It will burn the shit out of you. You'll be frostbiting before you could get back up to the next ladder. It does not play. You cannot make plays in... Uh, in, in dead drop like this in the freeze, but th what this does is it drives people upwards, right? So you're always moving upward in this in this extraction shooter and on, So on top of that once that starts to happen and the freeze starts to move up It's pushing everybody up the, 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 the map, right? And then the first extraction zones open up and you have you have uh, actually a couple you have four different extraction uh, methods, right? So the first method it, that will pop up is the zip line. There's a zip. There's a big main zip line that like zip lines out of the tower, and you can extract through that. It's the lowest one, so it's the first one that gets consumed by the freeze, the deep freeze, right? So you got to be very careful about that. Then there are the gates. There are these exit gates, and they're random. There's a bunch of them placed around the map, but only a couple of them open up each time. So you don't really know which one's going to be open. Or if you could get to it or wherever it may be. But those are kind of cool. And multiple people can extract from those as well. So multiple people can use the zip line. Multiple people can use the gate, right? Obviously, you got to either be cool or slide in right after someone slides in. But you can have a multi-extract there. Now, the third way to extract is through the helicopter. So the helicopter is a cool one. It's a single-person extraction. As far as we know. I mean, we, we, we saw it be a multi-person extraction. I tried it the other night, man, and it did not happen. So... 
you know, is what it is. So the helicopter is another one. So that's on a helipad. And then the last one is the super lift, right? The super lift is the last, uh, you know, very top most part of the map. And at the very end of the match, the super lift comes down. And if you get on that, that's the last extraction. And you can extract with as many people uh, that are, will fit on the lift, which you could do a whole lobby on that, right? If everyone's like, hey, we're cool, we're cool. Don't shoot, don't kill me. And then, and then you, extra, you, know, and you extract it, right, all together. So that happens. So that's kind of the, the long and the short of Dead Drop and what you're trying to do when it comes to the objective of this game, what it takes to jump in, and kind of how to play. Now, we'll talk about some of the other things that are important as we jump into the game here, but I wanted to just give a quick primer for all those that are new. We're starting the video off like this way, waiting for people to get in, come, come hang out, uh, and give a little quick primer on, on the, the basics of Dead Drop, how the game works, and uh, you know what the, what the loop looks like. We're going to go jump into that now, but I wanted you guys to kind of do because I've had a couple people ask me, kind of like, they don't really understand Dead Drop, they don't get it, let me know Stash, give me a little bit of, of advice. So there that is for all those new people. Because a lot of people just kind of assume like, hey, you should just know everything going in. But that is not the case. That is not the case, friends. Yeah, no problem, John Legend. Yeah, and uh, for those uh, agents that are already playing Dead Drop, uh, let me know if uh, you feel like that was a good explanation. I feel like it was. Yeah, the comics are really cool, man. I mean, I think they're really going to push that more. I think we're going to see more comics, uh, you know, and like things like that that you can collect uh, being pushed a little bit more. And, you know, the cool thing, too, is if you guys if you guys are not in the Dead Drop Discord, which you should be if you love what's going on here, um, go jump in the Dead Drop Discord, and they are actually running a little mini game t for tonight where uh, it's a collection game. So they're doing some cool things like this. And funny enough that they are doing something like this tonight because I just talked about this on the brand new podcast called uh, Variant Intel that is being run by Helmet Fire. He's a, another prominent variant uh, in, in the uh, existence here, right? And uh, I was on his podcast, the very first one that just dropped today. And I was talking a little, a little bit about this. I was like, oh man, it'd be great if the team could engage the community a little bit more with some of these little events and boom, here they are doing it already. It's like they're in my mind. They're in my mind. That's how good this team is. That's how good Midnight Society, Dr. Disrespect and Dead Drop is at, at understanding the community and building a killer game. Building a killer game. All right. What the? Like, what the hell just happened? Oh, whoa. oh, it came from my stash. I was like, where did that thing just come from? Okay, so we don't have like a massive stash, but I mean, I think that you know, we got some stuff. I got an obelisk. That's one of those other weird things, right? So funny enough, I have not been able to extract with any comics. Uh, I I don't know. I've had a couple in my bag, and like every time, I just something happens. So as you can see, you know, this is the mainstream. Um, if you played previous snapshots, you, you'll notice a couple things missing. Like there is no longer a, uh, you know, there's no longer, um, you know, a place to run around. The shooting range is missing. I think they really wanted to just focus on the gameplay this time. So they made this the, the load screen. What? No comics? I know. I just haven't gotten any yet, man. I don't know what to say. And it's kind of crazy, right? I guess I don't have a massive stash or anything, but uh, yeah. Yeah. But now this is the screen right here. So, you know, you can go and you can modify your weapons, uh, which is interesting, right? Uh, from, from here, which is cool. Um, and then, uh, you know, just be able to do your loadouts. So if you wanted to go and, like, add things to the, the guns, you can do it here, which is nice. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I had a full set of comics at, you know, be the last time too. Guys, you know, what, what's happening here is that these are going to keep being wiped, right? As they continue to press, progress the game, the game items that you're winning or getting or in your stash, it'll get wiped, you know? 
So that's why I'm not really like too worried about getting. I mean, like I'll get everything eventually playing, but it's not like oh man, if I don't get it now, I'm gonna miss something. Out. I'm gonna miss out on something. Cheers to the rest of you agents and variants out there, you founders, you claws, everyone in the existence. Okay, so once you got your load out here, uh, you, we got uh, a couple different spaces, right? We got a couple different spaces. Uh, you have your healing, your bandages, and then you have your smoke grenade. Uh, I believe that's E and Q. Let me just, I'm, I'm like 100%, almost 100% on that one, but uh, pretty sure it's E and Q. Yeah. So heals, E, and Q is smoke grenade. That's important. Um, also important is X. If you uh, if you don't know, like X puts your weapon away and that allows you to run really fast, right? So that's important too. Well, I mean, everything is going to reset. Right, right. Well, we'll, we'll right. Skins that you that you got with your your package. That's that's something that obviously will stay with you, right? That'll stay with you. So you can see like. Here's one of the skins, the Deep free, Freeze AR, the one, the skin right here, this one. So yeah, th those will stay with you, of course. Yeah, I'm just talking about anything you find in the game, anything that you pick up. All right, we're going in. Uh, when will this happen? I mean, on the next snapshot release, I'm going to assume. I don't think that they're planning on making it persistent between releases. So I think that on the next release, and that's about every three months is what they said. So about every three months. So maybe like in June-ish, we'll see another snapshot. Oh, coveted bandages. You know, I swear, sometimes, like, scoping in this game is a little weird. Anyone have trouble with their scopes? Scoping? Anybody? No? No troubles? Yo, what's up, man? You have any trouble with your scoping ever? Nope. Alright, we already heard some action. So, you know, as you guys can see, I'm kind of like moving through the map right now. Um, you know, we don't have, I mean, we got like 13 players, we don't have a full lobby. But, you know, picking up some things, auto pistol. And here we see. So here is the first extraction point. So you can see this is the super uh, the, the super zip line. It's not open yet. Not until the the uh, first extraction is open, and that's in about two minutes. So it's usually about three minutes or so after the start of the map. So you'd be able to come there and extract right away. I mean, yeah, you get, you definitely will hear gunfire. I mean, the, the the audio in this game is actually pretty good. So the proc chat, you'll hear people talking, and I'll talk back to them, and you can you can definitely like hear things. So there we go. The freeze is rising. It started. You can see it down there. 
You see a little bit on the ground? Watch, you'll see when, we, when it gets a little bit thicker. Making our way over to the helipad here. Let's go, man. What's up, man? <laughs> Hello, crypto stash. GG's. Dead drop. Let's go. Yeah, playing. So and and so that's another thing. So now we see. Look, uh, we die, but you get to continue as a sin, which is kind of like a synthetic version of yourself. That's why everything looks like it's all like outlined and weird. And you get like you just start with a pistol, which is kind of sad, but whatever. Okay, let's go back this way. Yeah, I don't know if, if the scoping issue is, is my mouse. Because I swear, maybe it's maybe it's my mouse, dude. everything probably oh I didn't take it no I didn't take everything oh so nice all right so here comes the helicopter income you can see it right right above us Graham Crackers just stood there. Let me shoot him right in the head. <laughs> Sorry, Graham Crackers. That's what we needed. Me with the sniper, I wasn't moving. Hey, what's up, bro? Yo, what's up, you man? Go. You got me. Yeah, GG's, bro. Uh, got me with the sniper. I should try to hit with the sniper again. The uh, the SMG like that, it has a pretty big spray, as you can see. So with no attachments on there in particular, it's not gonna be super helpful at that distance, right? So like. I might have even been better with the freaking auto pistol, to be perfectly honest. Where did that come from? Where are you at? Oh. <laughs> All right, back to hideout. So. So there you go. So I, I did I didn't make it out. I didn't extract. You know. Uh, you get three. You get three lives essentially. Yeah, man. I mean, the competition in this game is actually pretty good. Uh, you know, there's there's some pretty good people out there. Yeah, this is go. We're gonna go with just an auto pistol.
And you know, the cool thing too with Prox Chat, man, there's a great community and like everyone's kind of cool and is having fun and playing together, which is awesome. You know, and uh, obviously there's going to be some toxic people. But I think right now that's one of the things I like about closed access. Is that there are far less people who are going to be doing that, right? In a closed access environment. And that's nice. <laughs> it's nice not to like just be in a, a, in a lobby full of kids and like toxic ass gamers. We're just going into play. Going into extract. Going in for the goods. Oh, what the hell? Give me the loot, give me the loot. Yeah, I think it's my mouse. I think my mouse is the right mouse button is having issues. Ooh, new mouse time. You know what that means? It's new mouse time. Sad. So there we go, picked up some of those goodies we were talking about, remember? And the cool thing is you can press C if you're on the ladder to go down a long one like that, which is nice. Like Counter Strike, but 20 years later. Maybe, yeah, I could see that. You don't find a lot of magazines. All right, so here's the freeze coming. The freeze! It's coming to get us! Run for your lives! to find a sniper but Oh. 
now we should get out. Oh, LMG, we can take that. So we're, we're just below the top extraction, which is not a bad place to be. We don't have a ton of loot. So how many people max when the game starts? Uh, you know, right now, 24 is what we're seeing as the max, but most of the time the lobbies are not going that big. So, we're not seeing max lobbies most of the time. waited to put that on the sniper rifle that's okay all right so see phase one extraction is closing now See if we can make it to the copter. Ooh, sounds like someone's, someone's up there sniping. Oh, nope, someone just took it. <laughs> Nice one. Yeah, didn't see you there. I knew. I thought there was someone up there too, man. I thought there was someone up there, but he didn't snipe me. Man. Oh, is this freeze? Oh, it is. I gotta get the hell out of here. I gotta move up. The freeze is gonna get me. It's gonna get so cold! It's so cold! <laughs> get the hell out of there, man. Alright, I'm gonna assume that that dude looted everything on my body. <laughs> or most, mostly everything. Oh, 
GG. There's someone sniping at us. Be careful. I know, man. He's on my ass. Yeah, he hit me fucking hard. Oh, I see him. Oh, he got me. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, I know exactly where that dude's at, too. Pea shooter, man. I, you know, what can I do again? <laughs> uh, I'm not doing good to kick off this game. I mean, like, go, going in with gear, uh, you know, I, I think that it's helpful. But it doesn't like it's not gonna make or break your game. I don't. I mean, I, if you're unless you're really good at the game, like if you're really, I wouldn't consider myself a top tier player, right? I like Dead Drop. I like I like it. I have fun with it. But I never would consider myself like a top player in Dead Drop. I'm supposed to be teaching how to be. I'm teaching you guys how to lose. <laughs> I mean, in general, okay, so so as you guys can see, you know, with the kind of loop there, right, uh, there's a couple of, of important areas. A, one of the more important areas is the very bottom of the map. Now, we haven't been there yet because uh, it's not the easiest to get to if you start up kind of higher up. And that's where the freeze starts off. But that's where all the best loot is at, right? So if you want some of the best loot, some of the best equipment and uh, other things, that's where you want to go. The second thing is the um is the uh the place underneath the helicopter right so you saw with the helicopter extraction if you want to get all the goodies that that is where they're at right so like the 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 spray paints and the uh, comic books you know those things that's they, they kind of that's where they live right now um no it's not the same lobby as uh, the whole time and then in addition to that, like, you know, at the at the very top you saw, like, th that was the top extraction. So, you know, making sure that you understand how that works. And there's a lot of advantages to being there first and being able to hold that high ground if you can do it and you have enough stuff to do it. There are also some hidden at shipping and storage. Yeah, so I I'm just saying that that's a really easy place for people to identify and quickly be able to go and grab those things if they're looking for them, right? Wow, I came in a game with three people only. That's weird.
So yeah, not a lot of people in this in this lobby for whatever reason. I don't know. Huh. Don't want to stand on the open too long. <laughs> so I just you just get blasted off, man. Look at me slowly slide down. That's sad. Come on. Need a bigger boat. Is there a way to choose lobby? So that's a great question. There is not. So right now, it's just uh, whatever lobby you get stuck with, man. I like really, really need find a big old backpack. No backpack for you, Stash. No backpack. Got a lot of bandages, though, this time. Okay, we gotta set missing. Here comes the freeze. Man, I cannot. Room for anything. And this is another uh, good place to know right here too. This is kind of a, a power point or a power position, right? Is this is this right here? Because see, you have a, a good direct line to going inside the last uh, extraction, and then anybody coming from down here, you'll have them all too, which is kind of interesting as well. like all the special items have been extracted already. Alright. We're going to take the helicopter out. Just so you guys can see what an extraction looks like on the helicopter. This is a single person extraction too, so 
Only one can take it. I like to go on the back side because then you actually have some cover from someone trying to shoot you just like that. See, that's why you go on the back side of the, of the chopper where you're trying to extract because then people can't shoot you. And then you extract successfully. Let's go. I mean, no kills. There was only three people in that lobby, so it was like, man, eh, what are, you know, what are we gonna do? We're gonna go for the kills. Like, I guess we could have gone for the dead drop, but I think better to just kind of extract with the stuff we had, uh, right there, and uh, and then go ahead and, and pop it all off. And look at that sweet, sweet variant visor right there. That is my mustache love. I don't know if you guys realize. Look, it's mustache love. So it's the heart with... It almost looks like the heart with the mustache in it, does it not? It looks like that is my emoji right there on my visor. Oh, there is definitely fall damage. Yeah, there's definitely fall damage, and I'll say that before the snapshot, that fall damage was vicious. Uh, not as bad now, I would say. Um, not as bad now, for sure. Oh yeah, right now we're early, so if you guys don't know, so here's another thing. So if you're new to Dead Drop, um, Friday nights and Saturday nights beginning at, uh, at uh, 6 p.m. Pacific or 9 p.m. Eastern, is when Dead Drop Friday Nights officially starts. Now, I start my stream a little bit ahead of time to just start messing around and hanging out with the community with you guys first. Um, but yeah. I am showing how to play. So, JR1, if you're just joining me, man, uh, you know, we're talking about some of the basics here. But I've already talked about them, right? So, so I'll, I'll continue to talk about them throughout the stream, though, so you guys know. Uh, but just kind of looking at our stash here so you guys see what, what we're seeing right now is there's four different types of weapons. So you have your sniper rifles or your snipers, which are purple. There's only one sniper. And then you have your rifles, right? And you have a couple of different rifles. You have your DMR. You have your assault rifle. Uh, you have, where's the LMG? You have the LMG as well. Uh, and then you have your shotguns. And there's a couple of those. You have an auto shotgun. You have the range shotgun. Uh, which is nice for larger distances as it says you have the double barrel and then there's the pump shotgun then you got your pea shooters your auto pistol which is actually a pretty good little pistol not gonna lie the auto pistol man is is, is pretty good uh then you have your smg and then you have like your revolver or the heavy pistol uh and then there's another one more pea shooter which i don't i don't think i have one here then you have your extras like your armor. So you have three different styles of armor. You have light, medium, and heavy. Same thing with helmets, right? So you want to upgrade these as you're, as you're going and looting things. So uh, if you're picking them up off the ground, they'll automatically be slotted into your inventory here. But if you loot them from a chest, you actually have to go and drop them into those slots. So, and then same thing with, uh, you know, the, the guns and upgrades. So when you're in the field and you're out there playing and you get an upgrade, you can just drag it onto the gun. You just drag it from your inventory right into the gun that you want to use it on, and it'll automatically be equipped. And I love this change. I love this change. Auto assist, Agent John Legend. How dare you? No, you should not be using auto assist. And if you're using auto assist, you're just lame, man. It's just sad and pathetic. You should be using no auto assist for aiming. That is just sad. Either, either you suck at the game and own it, like me, or you get good. That's the only two options. That's it. And that's how we do Dead Drop. One or the other. <laughs> you know, I will say, I gotta, I gotta make more usage of my smoke grenade. Because that's something that I don't do. Is, uh, I'm not used to like popping it out, but I definitely gotta do that more often. Is it easy to turn 180? Uh, well, you can you can uh, adjust your settings and make it easier for sure. So you, you have adjustment over over those settings. But yeah, I mean, I feel like the movement is pretty good.
All right, brothers. Yo, what's going on? How's it going? We're hanging out, man. We're uh, we're giving some newbies some lessons on how to play Dead Drop. Hell yeah, Dead Drop is dope. You know, we got some new people in the stream right now, and uh, just trying to show people some of the basics. You know. Hopefully that wasn't you dying. <laughs> the basics, bam bam, you're dead. You know, I actually really like this LMR. You know, another thing too, as with all these FPS games, is knowing the map is obviously a really big deal. Hey. Come on down. Sorry, buddy. G chicken. G G I. G, G I. He's the G I chicken. Well, look at this, man. That's nice. At least we uh, came up here. Freeze is about to happen. We need to get the hell out of here. Oh no, I'm not gonna make it. Oh no. I believe the elevator's at the end. Run, Stash! Run! I'm never gonna make it! <laughs> Oh no. Ah. <clears throat> he was camping that. Yeah, he was totally camping that. Uh, as you guys can see, man, I went down in the freeze right there. I, I spawned basically down in the freeze. And uh, it started right as I was down there. And you can see I was just at the other end of that area. And that was enough to kill me with the deep freeze. Didn't even have a chance. Didn't even have a freaking chance, dude. Not even a chance. Like everything right here has been picked through, man. Yep, see everything's like been picked through. I'll take your leftover shotgun, thanks. Okay, we gotta get out of here. We must go up. Oh. Glory be a large backpack. <laughs> Heck 
man, come on. It's the chopper. Get to the chopper. I seen that guy sitting over here. He jumped over. in the freeze man you hanging out in the deep freeze <laughs> you bamboozled the fuck out of that guy gone <laughs> gone like a bat out of hell Run, minions, run. <laughs> oh, we gotta go up, though. Keep going this way. I mean, I definitely don't know this map as well as I should. Oh, goodness. the same place. Come on, man. Don't tell anybody I'm healing. Thank you for using. Oh, come on, you ruined it. I just want to expo with my comics. Comics, you say? <laughs> It's getting cold. Getting cold. Get 
Daddy is the hash. Where is that? No one's up top. This is another classic spot right here because you can see so much of the end game. You can see so much of the end game from here. the ladder man damn it I should have had the sniper out for him too that was dumb uh, that was dumb I should have I mean that I had I was just I had just kitted the sniper out and then for whatever reason didn't pull it out man yeah, that was on point. I mean, and through like I, I was shooting and it was like it was bouncing off the ladder, and I think because he's at a distance, I don't think that he gets that penalty for some reason. I don't know. It it seemed like he shot me through the ladder, but I couldn't shoot him. I don't know. What's the funniest thing that you guys have had happen to you while you've been playing Dead Drop, if you're playing? Woo! This beer right here, 9.5%. I'm already feeling good off one beer. <laughs> Not gonna lie, man. Let's go in and let's see.
going up. Wow. All right, that was just on me, man. I slid right off the edge and I I just didn't make it. Just didn't make it. Just plain didn't make it. Holy crap. I don't think I've ever done that. <laughs> it's our first time for everything. Let me see if we can just go find our body. Wait, where was that? Like I fell somewhere around here. What if my body is going to be like right here? Like right here, no? Like way down there. I can't even see it. <laughs> Screw it. Daddy. That's tomorrow's clip, yeah, I know, right? Damn! Every damn time, man. Sorry, bro. GG's. Son of a bitch! I swear, man, like I walk out of a blade and I, you know, and then boom, so there's someone behind me. I have like the worst luck with like rolling, just rolling up on people that, and like, oh, hey, look, there he is. <laughs> oh, shit, man. Get my ass handed to me. It's sad. It's sad. You know. You know what it is, God, guys. I know exactly what the problem is. I know what the problem is. I need another beer. That's what it is. I need another beer. It's. I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go for refills right now. But that's probably what it is. <laughs> All right. Let's go. In, let's go back into just auto pistol. I'm out of beer, dude. That's gotta be it. No, it's probably not helping at all. You know, this is new too. I just noticed that uh, my character is getting like super buff. Breaking out of his shirt. Oh, the guns. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that. Like, it's just his arm, it's just his bicep. Um, so yeah, and one of the things you might notice too is like, you know, you'll see the different variants in game with their different uh, variant uh, visor cortexes. But the claws don't have that. So you'll know somebody that's a, a claw if they don't have a visor cortex. Fun fact.
Oh, from above? Damn it. All right, GG. Man. I knew it was dangerous trying to loot that guy's corpse right there. Oh my gosh, are we in freaking deep freeze? Oh my gosh, I think we are. I think we are. Or are we? No, we're not. No. Oh yeah, we are. Sometimes hard to tell. Especially because I was in that spot. It's a different spot than normal. Where I've been going normally in here. What the heck? Okay. No. No scopes. Uh oh, all right, now it's time to get the hell out of here. <laughs> as soon as I hear that bell, I'm like, nope, not playing around, dude. The freeze is coming. Oh my gosh, and the fucking elevator's not here. I should have made that come before I started. Get out of here! <laughs> that shit is legit terrifying. Yeah, it starts at two minutes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So like, you, you you don't have a lot of time. So that's if you haven't started in that area, you probably want to be careful about going down there. Gosh, I, a big backpack. Alright, we would like to get a scope for our rifle, but...
All right, so the phase one is going to close here in a second. It is a long way. It is a long way to go. So once again, I was telling you, this is kind of a, a, a decent spot to kind of camp and hang out. As long as you just kind of watch both angles. Because people can't really see you too good up here until they get a little bit closer. And then the only other way to see you is from over here. There's a ladder at the very end. See, like, I, man, I, it's gotta be, it's gotta be my mouse button, man. I think it's, it's gotta be my mouse. I, 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 I was thinking maybe it was a game, but I don't think so. I think it's actually just my mouse. Need something on there at least. <laughs> First victory of the night, let's go. Jaxie must be better than me at this game, man. I've been pure shit right now. See, and, the, and see, this is like, sometimes the final strategy just takes forever, and when there's so small amount of people like this, when there's a lot of time left, it's definitely hard. Oh, come on, Kyra, again? Hello, Crypto Stash. Damn it. You're much better with that sniper than I am, man. God. All right, let's go see if we can get that back. to go it's a long road to the top if you want to rock and roll Oh, I'm all wandering all around the damn place. Again? All right, man. All right. All right, GG. Yeah, you know, I haven't been, you know, to be perfectly honest, I just haven't been able to play a lot of anything recently. Um, like, off stream, you know? So, mostly what you're seeing me playing is on stream stuff. Recently, I just haven't been able to do off stream stuff. Um, Alright, guys, I'm going to go grab a, I'm going to grab a beer. And we're going to re-energize here, and we'll be right back. We'll be right back. So, stay tuned. Do not leave. We're going to, we're going to jump in, and uh, we'll be right back. Maybe we'll just do, like, two minutes. Be right back. Go. <laughs>
stash. Secret agent stash. This is what we're drinking tonight. Voodoo Ranger Juice Force, baby. The Juice Team. Juice Force. This is what we're drinking tonight. Uh, like I said, this is night. Nine, look at the. Where does it say it? It's, I know it's on here somewhere. It doesn't say it like anywhere obvious. 9.5% Hazy Imperial IPA. How long do I play Dead Drop on Friday? For a couple hours. So usually, usually I start like a little bit before, uh, you know, the uh, Friday night dead drop starts because really it's right in the middle of dinner time for me, guys. So that's why I start a little bit be before dead drop uh, Friday night start at 6 p.m. Pacific. And then I'll like so I'll play until probably like 630 or 7 or something like that, you know. But for you faithful that stuck around with me, thank you so much. I know that was like, it was like, all right, you know, stash is stash is uh, he's going to get a beer break. I'm out. I'm leaving. I'm done. Well, screw you, man. But we're coming back at it. Yeah, Kyra won that last tournament, man. He's a he's a good FPS player. I mean, he's a good FPS player. De definitely better than I am. Um, I feel like I do okay. I feel like I do okay. I haven't hit my, like, stride in Dead Drop. I really, you know what it is? I really need to know the map better. And that's one thing that I feel like I always have trouble with, that I struggle with in the beginning of a game, is, like, really getting a good handle on the map. And I'm great with directions. But, yeah. But yeah, I think that's that's a really important uh, aspect that you know you have to understand with a game like this is really under knowing that map is key and it's clutch. And you know you, you play a couple hours of Dead Drop and you should get it, you should get it. But like it's been a whirlwind since I got back from the Snapshot Five reveal event. I was there in Texas with Doctor Disrespect with the Midnight Society crew, and um, you know, since I got that, that was really my first touch of this, this snapshot. And so since then, I haven't really had a, a lot of good. I haven't had a really like a lot of good uh, playtime. Why did I wait? Why am I sitting there waiting? Come on, man. I'm over here just jawing away. Guy in my sights, I'm just like, yeah, I'll just stand here. <laughs> oh, goodness. But yeah, so I didn't get like, like, you know, everyone was like railing on it the weekend it came out and, and dropped and I didn't get a chance to do that because I was still traveling and then I got back and it was right back to another conference and then I went to another conference. Oh, can we see the <laughs> Oh yeah, sorry guys. This is a funky little ledge right here.
funky little ledge. Here comes that freeze. Carden, what's going on, man? OG Shakespeare. Just gave you a plug in today's sandbox video, OG Shakespeare. I don't know if you saw that, if you watched the videos, but uh, yeah, I gave you a plug there at the end. We got phase one ending here. Getting ready to end. Beer break. Tardin's playing that Dudo. I like Dudo, but it's a little bit too long of a game for me. That's how I feel about that. Oh. Running around with them damn snipers. Just saw me sitting there and he was just waiting. I feel like I run into people and die a lot more often than I should. Maybe I'm just not very cautious. Maybe I'm too cautious. Is that it? Am I just too cautious? No. We could extract right now if we wanted to, but I mean, like, what's the point? Because... Oh. The point is you need to get the hell out of here because the freeze is arising. Freeze is arising. <laughs> That's just no joke, man. When it comes for you, I, I I definitely run and gun, man. I probably should maybe slow down a little bit more sometimes, but.
Oh, I hear someone fighting. Oh, someone just took off. Fordo got me again. Damn it. GG's, brother. GG's. GG's, man. GG's. I lost you in it. Damn. That was a good game. Yeah, it was a good one. I mean, good for him, probably. He won. <laughs> All right, going on beer number two. Let's see, I, I, I don't know how, I, at what point do I get any worse? I don't think it's possible. Right, do you guys get to the point where it's like, could it get any worse? Like, just keep going. I, you know, it can only go up from here. <laughs> it can only go up from here. Maybe I'll win a match tonight, who knows? I mean, I'm doing, I'm doing not, not so awesome, not so awesome today, but that's all right. Worse or performance enhancing, I know. Right? Well, that's what I like to think. I tell myself that. I'm like, oh, yeah, Stash. Grab a brewski. Performance enhancing. Yeah. You know, the thing about it, though, is that even though maybe I'm not the best at dead drop, right? It still has that element to me of, like, I want to keep playing. I want to keep playing. I know my elbows are like, let's go. I don't know what's up with that. That's new. I hear you and your mechanical keyboard. Don't kill me. No, bro, please. Oh, it's, well, it's both of you, huh? Yeah, bro, every time, yeah, every time. Every time I kill you. First in Got in there and grabbed a quick comic. This is a great box right here to grab. I mean, it doesn't always have the best stuff, but...
Here comes the freeze! Yeah, you know, other people have complained about this gun, uh, like, placement, like, with the hand. I, I, I feel you. It does seem a little odd for, for an LMG here. I mean, it seems odd just in general, actually, I guess is <laughs> really the best way to say it, but... Man, I feel like we've really been finding a lot of band-aids. Maybe they upped the spawn rate. Again, bro. Yo. It's two games. <laughs> I keep forgetting that LMG is a uh, is not is not automatic. Uh oh, hopefully this gets here fast. Yeah, I keep forgetting that fucking LMG is not an automatic. I think you can change it to like semi-automatic too. I, I forget what the button is for that. Do you guys know what the button is for changing from semi-automatic to automatic like that? Because I know there's some options on some of these guns. Get to the chopper. Well, the chopper is like right above us. Let's I'm climbing a pipe, please don't kill me. It's embarrassing when you die on the pipe. I ducked. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, there's definitely something up with my mouse, man, because I, I try and, like, aim down sight sometimes, and it's like it doesn't, it, it, like, glitches out on me. I don't think it's the game. I think it's my mouse. It's weird. might have been my bag. Uh, I have actually a Rocat Nith. I, I love the Rocat. I've had this mouse for like a long time, for like a couple years now. So it probably is just at a point where the mouse has degraded. But you see, like, I feel like sometimes it just gets stuck in the animation of, like, trying to, you know, see?
such a long time until extraction. We don't have a fucking scope, so it's gonna make it pretty hard. nice I learned that if you try and climb the back side of that ladder you go all the way up and you and you hit your head on the top and you cannot get down <laughs> all right guys out there somewhere. We lie in wait. There's one. Ah. Come on out. Oh my gosh, are we out of sniper ammo? We're out of ammo. I wonder if we can do this, though. He's pretty far away. Come on. GG, man. Close. Sometimes you just ran out of ammo, man. I didn't have any uh, enough sniper rounds and I just I couldn't tag him. He was he was pretty far away, but I got I got that first shot off clean, but he must have had he must have had full uh, armor on. Because, yeah, I hit him, boom, and it and it didn't kill him. So, and so that's the thing. If you have heavy armor on, you can take a sniper shot to the head and not die. So that's you know that's one of those things. Like you definitely you know finding heavy armor, heavy helmet, very important. Because if you are at full health, you can take that sniper shot and you won't die. Uh, you know, fr from one shot. 
and getting one-shotted. But otherwise, man, that, uh, that sniper can be quite vicious. And you see a lot of people using it up close, too, which is great. Because it is basically a one-shot, one-kill. So if you can quick scope, boom, done. Now, like I said, there, I, there might be something wrong with my mouse here, but maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. I feel like the scoping for my, you know, the, that button is like being weird. It's acting weird. A minute to find a match. You know, uh, that's the thing is too, is, is it with this game, now there's more people in it. So there's more opportunities to play, which is great. But a lot of times just not Four huge five, lobbies. Please. Hello, friends. I am Chupapi. I do murder. Please don't murder me, Chupapi. I shall murder everyone. And then I shall die. What What if we were best friends? Would you murder me then? Oh, it depends, bro. To Come on, besties, bro. Besties. How are you going to do that? I got to murder people, dude. I got it. I got I got people to kill, you know? <laughs> Nothing personal, man. I just gotta murder shit. All right, can we murder stuff together? Guys, it's too easy. Let's team up and murder everybody out, together. Out, gun, son. All right, I got the heart variant face. Don't shoot me. Oh, that happens for sure. Ooh, almost got me with that sniper. Almost. Oh, was LMG? Run away! Oh, see, and so here's those doors. So here, so you can see this is the exit door, one of the uh, extraction doors. It's green, which means you can hit it. So you can go in and extract right now if you want. Didn't even know those doors existed. Yeah, so those that's the other extraction point. So there's four extraction points. And that one, you know, you can get multiple people out of that one too, which is cool. Alright, here comes the freeze. But like I said, they're in different locations all the time. And they're they're not always like so I mean they're in the same locations, but they're not always all active. It's funny because you know the, the real killers because they don't talk. <laughs> the people who are really good at this game, they, they specifically, you don't ever hear them talking until they kill you. What is that down there? What is that white thing right there? Is that a UFO? Do you guys see that UFO? What is that? That's a freaking UFO. Where's that UFO going? Gone. 
Oh no, there it goes. So weird, random. I found a UFO in dead drop! Finally, a freaking kill, huh? GG's. What I really needed was this. Where was that freaking hell station? I thought there was a health station, like, right here. I have no idea where it's at. We desperately need to find it. Gonna have to do. Hello? I'm drunk and I have a sniper rifle, be careful!
Oh, come on. How did I not kill you? How? Ah. That was horrible aim, man. Sniper. Oh my gosh, what just happened? It's like it jutter it jitters sometimes, it's weird. Woo. Da, he had the same idea as I did, man, he got me first. GG's. That was good. Frustrating, but that's all right. There's only me and that guy left. Here we go. Oop, yep, I figured he was up there. He almost got me. <laughs> I don't see where he's at though. All right, now we see him. Got him in the head. Come on back out. Go up. Damn it, God, come on. That freaking scope, man! Damn it! Uh, I had him too, man. He must have had some bandages or something. I don't know.
All right, going back in. So close, man. That was. I, I feel like every time I get to the end of the match here, it's me and someone else, and I'm just not. Uh, I'm just not getting it, man. Yeah, it's weird because I hold the scope button and I feel like sometimes it just goes out of scope. And so I, I do, I think it, it's got to be my mouse. It's got to be the mouse. Time for, you know, and the good thing about this is it's just another excuse for being able to get some new gear. <laughs> That's really how I look at it, to be perfectly honest. Okay, that was dumb. I put my weapon away instead of shooting. Not the smartest play. Whatever. Same dude got me again, man. Damn it. Wow. Oh, look at this weapon mod. You don't get this very often. Like, there's almost none of these weapon mods. They're very rare. This area right here, it's so freaking open. Good evening, Charlie Whiskey. What's going on, man? Yeah, don't do that. All right. <sighs> Ugh. GG. Oh, it's <laughs> Karma, sucker! Karma!
Did you see that? That was great, man. He went, he killed me and was trying to loot me, and then immediately someone came in and smashed on him. I like to see that. All right, let's go back in. I think we're gonna play like one more match, and then we're gonna call it a night. Gotta do a little early, earlier of a night tonight. You, maybe, usually, I would go to like maybe like seven or so. Do do about three hours of dead drop on a Friday. But as you can see, man, the beer is already getting to me. <laughs> Actually, that's just an excuse. Just a good, clever excuse. Yeah, McLovin! That was a nice kill. I heard him behind me and I turned around and he was already, he was right there. I should have had that, man. I should have had that. Not doing too good. Okay, we're in I think we're in the f deep the underground freeze yeah it looks like it this place is I don't know underground very well getting like decimated <laughs> wow Come on. Caught me looting. It baited me. Baited me. Yeah, you did. All right, we said we said that was the last one, but this is the last one. <laughs> that was too quick, man. That was too quick. Yeah, you know, it's funny because in games like this, when you see people who are like using things like aim bots or different cheats, it just, it, it always amazes me, man, that people would go to that length. Like, if you just suck at a game, just own it. Just own that you suck. I own it. <laughs> but I don't give a fuck. Like when you come prepared and then it... Oh! I thought you were... Wow. Wow. He just stood there and I still couldn't kill him. With a freaking sniper rifle, that was just pathetic. Well, it's weird how they start you up here. I like that this cache always has something good. One of these caches always has something.
as you guys can see, I haven't really... Someone has to feed the better players. I know, right? <laughs> that is me. I'm literally the cannon fodder. See, like, look at that. It's it's always on, like, the first scope, too. Like... Weird. I don't know. Maybe it's just... I think it's just me. There's somebody. Gonna stick around for helicopter extraction? Probably. Helmet fire! Let's go, baby! <laughs> Come on, man! Let's go, baby! You just had me on the show and you're gonna kill me in, in game two? No love. Oh, you would have done it to me, brother. You know. It's true. I would have. I, I was it's, scoping it's on totally somebody. True. I was waiting. You caught me scoping on somebody. Oh, man. That's great, dude. Yeah. All right, let's see if we can go kill our buddy Helmet Fire here. He's in the same game. I mean, how likely is that? I don't know. I'm coming for you. Oh. I didn't mean to see where that went. I didn't even see where that came from, man. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, well. Bit of a rough night. What can I say? <laughs> uh, we went into dead drop. But, you know, the good thing about it, man, is that I know we had some new people in chat, especially in the beginning of the stream. And so I think it was really good to be able to show some of them some of the new features for dead drop if they're brand new, right? Or if maybe they've played previous snapshots and they haven't played this one yet. So, uh, but yeah, a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Not not very productive night, man. Not very productive night. And I think we only extracted once, once, twice. God. I was trying to go for a couple W's, but uh, you saw we just uh, couldn't hang. We couldn't hang. We had some better players out there that uh, took us out. So, All right, agents. That is it for tonight. Dead Drop Friday night. Like always, we will be back again next Friday. We'll try and get a longer session going. Try and get some more, uh, some more variant action out there. But that is all we have for today, agents. Secret Agent Stash, over and out. Secret Agent Stash, Secret Agent Stash, oh. wearing new disguises on every day he screams.
stash.